basically Mary Kay is so generous and so sweet that for March, everything you do will count as double. Like it's literally in the name, double credit for what you do towards your seminar goals or just towards your your credit in Mary Kay. So for example, like if you do $1,000 counts as 2000 um, and so on you guys. So this is so huge to hit your goal before seminar um, for sharing for quarter of sales and you can really get to where you wanna be on that seminar stage. So that's kind of what kind of what double credit month is and i'm just so glad that each and every one of you are on here tonight and yeah megan and i are so excited to just dive in oh my gosh yes so well you guys i just want to just just i'm just gonna hide myself welcome to just everyone we're so excited that you're here if you're new and maybe this is your first meeting maybe you have the jitters like maybe you're like oh my gosh this is my first money mingle this is so exciting um or maybe you're a little bit nervous and like the entire idea of this is a little bit just new to you um or maybe you're on top of the world and you're just coming from um you know a really amazing week so amelia and i just want to welcome all of you um just to mingle tonight and i just want you to just like okay just like breathe in Actually, breathe out. Just like exhale your day. You're in your pink bubble. We are here. We all have life going on. And so just for an hour, you're just going to be inspired, trained, recognized, celebrated. And this meeting, I assure you, has been prayed over. And we're just so excited. We're so excited. So Amelia, I think we should welcome all of our new consultants first. Don't you? Should we switch it up tonight? <laughs> yeah, I think we should. Why, what better way to start than a big welcome party? I don't know about you guys. <laughs> oh my but, goodness. Yeah. Yes. So here's how we'll do this, you guys. If you are here tonight and if you brought a brand new team member with you, you've got someone new on the screen, we would just love for your recruiter, um, if you're a recruiter, just to unmute and just to go ahead and introduce your brand new team member. We're so excited to meet them. Um, so just whoever feels led, just go ahead and start us off. Whoever's feeling frisky, like you want to lead this. <laughs> I want to introduce my two. Um, first, Kathy Carter. Welcome, Kathy. Yes. And, and after you guys are introduced, if you just want to share what you're most excited about, we'd love to hear that from all of our new consultants. Um, Kathy is, um, she's a childhood friend. She lived right across the dirt road from me. And um, we, and she's been teaching for almost 30 years, 27. So, and she's eager to start Mary Kay because she's about to retire in three years and an empty nester pretty soon. So, <laughs> That's it, Sharon, pretty much hit off afterwards. <laughs> and if you guys could be just keeping Kathy in your prayers, um, her husband fell from a ladder on Friday and is ha he's been in the hospital from my understanding, right, Kathy? So if you guys could just be praying for him, um, it's a serious situation, it sounds like. So thank you. Yeah. So prayers for Kathy. So we're so excited to welcome you, Kathy. And um, okay, so who else has a new consultant that you'd like to go ahead and introduce? Micah Zomrat. Hi. Hey, Micah. Nice How to meet you. How are y'all? <laughs> it's nice to meet everybody. We met um, through Facebook. Yeah, and she um, has her own business, a spa. She's a massage, a massage therapist, and um, she's very excited to implement the um, all-natural Mary Kay products in her store. So, Yes, the organic product line is what I'm most excited about, quality skincare. Oh my goodness, yes. And Micah, do you want to share about just what you're most excited about? I know everybody would love to hear from you. Yeah, the um the quality skincare for sure, just the organic product line that I'll be able to like couple along with my business that I currently am running. It it that is really exciting for me. And um secondary monetary income opportunities is pretty, pretty exciting. Financial freedom. So yeah. <laughs> gosh well michael we're so excited for you and um you guys if you could just be praying for shannon shannon is going diq this month baby we're so excited ah! she's just going to get her eight and so she's about halfway there so we're so excited for shannon um if you could just be praying for her as she is hustling to get there um and then okay who else has someone new that you would like to introduce yes paula we see your hand i would like to introduce lizzie price and lizzie is one of my former students 
Uh, I taught her when she was in fifth grade and she is one of my faves and she and my son actually are the same age. And Lizzie came over last night with her mom and sister and it was kind of cool. They were like, we're going to come over and let you practice on our faces, but you know, that's it. We're just going to practice. And before the night was over, Lizzie signed up to be a Mary Kay consultant and her mother bought enough product for the entire state of Virginia. So it was a wonderful <laughs> and exciting night. And I am thrilled to have another ginger with me on my team. So I'd like to say welcome to Miss Lizzie. Yay. Thank you. The gingers unite. Well, Lizzie, we're dying to hear from you, girl. We'd love to hear what you're most excited about. Um, I don't know. I'm just excited to kind of get started and, um, it'll be nice to have a little extra money, um, especially with being in college and working another job. So yeah, just excited all together. Oh my goodness. Well, Lizzie, we are so excited for you. And, um, speaking of moving up and doing parties and adding people, I want to give a huge shout out to Lisa. Amelia, do you want to just brag on Lisa for a moment about her party last week? So yes, I would absolutely love to. So beautiful Lisa. Um, she is a dental hygienist who just joined the champion unit just like a couple weeks ago, literally a few weeks ago. And um, she just had her launch party this week. And Lisa, we literally we sold it was well over it was well over 600 what was your end total again Lisa do you remember what it was it was pretty close to 800 yeah that's what I thought it was it was, it like, was pretty close yeah like 780 something yeah isn't that crazy you guys and she just had like her six close family members there and not only that but you guys, she booked three parties and added two new team members at her launch party. Uh, Isn't that phenomenal? Lisa, I am just so proud of you and so excited for you. And guys, Lisa was so excited. Like when she came over to my house for her facial, um, like when I when we first did Mary Kay together, like a few weeks ago, she walked in my door and she was like, yeah, Amelia, I think I want to get on board. And I was like, what, Lisa? I haven't even done your facial yet. <laughs> And that's how I knew. I was like, this woman is a leader. And I was like, she's ready. She was so excited. And so Lisa, it was your party was just so prayed over. And it was just it was it was phenomenal. And I'm so proud of you and excited for you for your next steps. What a Definitely. great thing. Thank you. Of course, girl. And then I do have a new girly on here who I'd love to introduce. Um, I'd love to welcome Ariel, Ariel Middleton. And Ariel lives in Rhode Island. And I met Ariel through um, a mutual friend, actually. She was a referral from someone that I had met um i believe it was yeah on on facebook i met her and then i referred her and turns out my sister and ariel go to the same church and i was like what a small world and so ariel is just so talented at singing and she's such an amazing mom and she just loves skincare and makeup so much and she's so excited to just um just provide for her family and be in this world so ariel we'd love for you to share just like what you're most excited about girl um, thank you for the introduction, Amelia. Um, and um, I'm just mostly really excited um, to learn new skills, um, skincare and makeup care wise, and also to make new friends. Um, I think that's a big one for me. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this journey. Yes. Well, Ariel, welcome to your new 22 best friends tonight. Yeah, <laughs> right. We really are <laughs> such a community and we're so excited just to welcome you. Amelia has spoken just so highly of you and your family. And so welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, and then I'm going to pass the mic over to Sophia for her to introduce her. It's so sentimental who she's introducing tonight. So Sophia, take it away, girl. <laughs> So I am so excited to introduce a former business partner and now a current business partner. Once again, I waited a whole year for today. I don't know if she signed up today or yesterday. I was so busy, but I think it was today. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is my mom. She joined my team, Lillian. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh my goodness. Lillian, do you want to share what you're most excited about? Because we know Mary Kay is a familiar, a familiar journey to you. <laughs> It is. So I first started back when Sophia was in elementary school 
And she would help me with my parties because she was always better at makeup than I was. So I would have her do all the makeup stuff and I was doing the skincare, but our lives both got busy and we kind of let it go. And now she started under you and I'm like, I got to be in her team. So (laughs) we've gone full circle where I just waited a whole year so that I can join under Sophia. And I'm just so excited. I'm so proud of her and so eager to learn because I have a lot to learn from you beautiful young ladies. So I'm just excited to to be able to start restart this journey again. I love that, Lillian. We're so excited to have you. You are truly one of the most elegant women that I know. And oh. you guys, isn't it so amazing how women can come back in this? And I, I just love that thing about our company. I mean, not in many companies can can you start when you want or come back when you want. I, I think it's just so beautiful. So Lillian, we're so excited to have you. And Thank so you. welcome, welcome, welcome. And um, I'm going to go ahead and introduce my two newest oh, um, team members that are on tonight. So I just want to welcome Chris Still and Chelsea Nieder tonight. And I do want to tell you guys how we met because I think this is just the coolest thing to think about as you're living your life. When the um, micro- so Chris and I actually, Chris was, um, it was so crazy, you guys. She was literally walking in front of my car at Ulta because that's where I get my brows done. And she was like looking at my car. And so you guys know me. James is in the back sleeping. I get out of my car. I run over to their car. Their car is like in reverse, I think. Like they were about to leave. And I knock on their door and I'm like, you guys are going to think I'm psychotic. I know. I know. I know. I know. I was like, but, you know, I'm a makeup artist of Mary Kay. I was like, I'm filling out these skincare surveys. Will you fill one out for me? So long story short, um, Chris came over for a makeover in January and she is a top seller of login log cabin homes. She's one of the most eloquent women you will ever meet. She's gorgeous. She does not look her age at all. And, um, and she's, and I'm so excited for her. She's a new star. She's amazing. Um, so we'll have Chris share. And then Chelsea, this is such a fun story. So in December, I was sick as a dog with the flu and Chelsea was this adorable flu, uh, adorable girl helping me get my flu medicine. (laughs) And so that's how me and Chelsea met. And then we reconnected on Instagram. So you just never know who you're going to meet. And Chelsea's amazing. She's in school. She's working. She's a hustler. Um, So Chris and Chelsea, I don't see you guys on screen, but if you're able to unmute, I know everyone would love to hear what you guys are are the most excited about. Okay, I'll go first. I'm going to unmute just because like today is not my day like presenting myself. I had a little bit of a rough day, but next time I promise I'll show my face. Um... When I met Megan, she was like the sweetest thing. And then when I connected with her on Instagram and she like invited me over, I was like, oh my God, I suck at makeup. So honestly, being in pharmacy school is really tough. So this is like my hobby that I just like, was, she's like, do you want to sign up? I'm like, do I have to make a decision right now? She's like, I was just, you know what? Sign me up because this might be my like exact, like stress free from school because school is so like stressful. So like, I love makeup. I'm just not good at it, but I know I'll get there and I have the personality to like just meet people. So I'm just like really excited. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Well, Chelsea, we're so excited. And you guys, Chelsea won't mind me sharing the night before she's like, Megan, I don't know. She had so much schoolwork and I was like, girl, just come over for an hour. So it's okay to ask people to come over. It really is. I was like, girl, no, really like, please come over. She's like, okay. (laughs) So you just never know. Um, And then Chris, if you would like to unmute, I know everybody would love to hear from you too. If she's able to, she might be in a place where she can't, and that's yeah. okay too. Okay. Does anyone else have somebody that they that you need to introduce that's new? Oh, I think Lou is Taylor on here. Yeah, I think so. Taylor, I think Lou's on here. If you want to introduce her, I see her name, but you're driving, so be safe. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Taylor. Um, yeah, sorry. I was, I'm not able to scroll through everyone because I'm on, um, I'm obviously in the car. Um, but yeah, I just got um, Lou as a new team member. If she's on here, Lou, I'm so happy that you're on here. <laughs> and um, she is just the most amazing woman ever. Um, I've just, enjoyed my time getting to know her and I'm just so blessed to have her on my team I know she's a fabulous woman on the inside and outside and I just yeah that's it and then I also have 
Fran and Alex on here. I, they've been on here before, but um, not with me because usually I'm in the car at this time. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm so excited to have all of my teamies on here with me. So hello. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Taylor, we're so excited for you. And um, you guys, isn't this just so fun doing this with other women? How many of you guys are so inspired? You're like, this, you're like, okay, who's my next team member? I'm not coming next week without somebody else. <laughs> it's just, it's just so fun doing it with others. And so you guys, what we're gonna do um for the sake of time is we are gonna do our announcements and I mean our recognition. And then um, we're going to do very quick announcements because you guys are going to get to hear from brand new sales director, Amelia Fox tonight. And I know she is so much prepared for y'all and I want to be sure to give us enough time. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to dive right on into our recognition. So if you opened up your store last week and if you sold absolutely anything, we're talking like you sold a mascara to you sold thousands. You sold anything. We just want to see your hand if you sold anything this last week. Yes, Linda and Shannon and Fran and Paula and Lisa. Yes, yes, yes. Love to see the hands. Okay, if you sold, we're going to wrap it up to a star week, which is $300. If you sold $300, keep on waving. Yes, Lisa and Paula and Sally and Fran. Sally. Okay, we're going to scoot it on up to 500, 500, 200 dollar increments. Okay, you sold 500. I love it. Fran's still waving. Paula's still waving. Lisa's still waving. Sally, congratulations on your week. Okay, we're going to wrap it up to $700. You sold 700 bucks. 700 bucks. Lisa's waving. Paula's waving. Fran is still waving. Doesn't it feel so good? You're like, oh yeah, I made $350 this week. Thank you very much. On my side hustle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How many of you can get excited? You're like, that would pay for my freaking groceries <laughs> for half the month, right? Okay. All right. We're going to rev it up to $900. You sold 900. Okay. Paula's still going. Fran's still going. This is so exciting. Okay. You sold a thousand dollars. You just keep waving. Oh my gosh. Fran, congratulations. Paula's still waving. We're going to keep going. 1200 Paula. She just put her hand out. Okay. We're going to highlight Paula and Fran, and we want to hear you guys' top tips for the week for your sales. 100%. So Paula, take it away. Warm chats a hundred percent this week, just being out in public, meeting people, asking them if they would like to try the product. Um, it definitely this week has been a good week with warm chats. Um, I met at several people in local stores who I signed up and who are coming over and it happened last week too. And so some of my sales this week are, are a result of that. I also think um, when I do some of my facials and do my pamperings, I talk about products that we don't necessarily talk about a lot, like the Meissler waters and the clinical solutions. And for example, last night at the party I hosted, I talked about the Meissler water and the three women at the party, all three bought one. So sometimes I think adding in some of those lesser known products um, is really key. Wow. So strategic, Paula. And it's so true. Like if you think about it, whenever we go to Victoria's Secret, how many of you guys get excited about the little perfumes that are nothing bra related? We're like, ooh, the perfume. <laughs> sometimes it's those little things are like, oh. And Paula, I just want to affirm you because it does take intentionality and confidence to warm chatter. And you went from being like a little resistant to it to be like, I'm going to talk to everyone. So I just want to affirm you that you were willing to do that. And it's been so amazing to see your results from that. And you guys, doesn't Paula just look fabulous tonight? Look at that lipstick. Look at her straight hair. She's just, she's doing the most. So Fran, we are excited to hear from you, our runner up to the queen, your first week in Mary Kay selling. How much did you sell? What was your total? Um, it was a little under um, a thousand. I actually had my launch party yesterday with uh, wow. some family and some co-workers and friends. Um, it was a overall really fun night. You know, we just talked. Amelia did her thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, everybody was just very excited to try the products. And um, it was a good night. And it was a nice little launch party, you know my first time doing it so I I feel like overall everybody had fun I had a good time and you know Taylor also did her thing like they both kind of, I was just learning from the best so <laughs> overall you know it was a fun time and just getting to know the products a little bit more and just you know just trying to 
put myself out there little by little. Um, I did have somebody saying that they wanted to book um, a party with um, their friends. So we're planning that uh, next party coming up soon, probably within the next month or so. That's so exciting, Fran. And I love what I love about you, Fran, is that you're willing to learn. Like I know that last night you were there with all of your ride or die people and you were like, I will let Amelia and Taylor lead me so I can learn this. And I think that takes humility, which is maturity to say, I need to learn this even when you're with your friends and your family. And I'm so thankful that it was so blessed and that you made $500 and just that you have another party coming and girl, before you know it, you are going to blink and be leading women the same way that Taylor and Amelia led you last night. So we're just so proud of you. Um, so just congratulations. And if you're new, I just want this to give you hope. Isn't this exciting? Both Paula and Fran are newer consultants. Like Paula has been in for four months. Fran just started a few weeks ago. So imagine where you could be in a few weeks and what, what this could do for you. It's just so exciting. I just love hearing y'all's stories. Um, so what we're going to do next is we are going to recognize booking. So if you've got any appointments on your books, just go ahead and give us your best seminar superstar wave. Yes, Shannon and Lisa and Paula and Sally and Larissa and Taylor. Yay. It's a happy day to be you. All right. We're going to rev it up to three bookings. If you've got three bookings, you just keep on waving. Yes, Lisa, Paula, Shannon. Love seeing you guys' hands. All right. We're going to rev it up to five, five bookings. Awesome. Congratulations, Lisa. All right. I see Shannon. I see Paula. Okay. We're going to rev it on up to eight. If you got eight bookings, keep waving. Shannon and Paula mean business. They're like, watch me get my eight. Watch me get my eight. They're both competitive deep down. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Okay. Nine. Keep on waving if you've got nine. Oh my goodness. So exciting. Congratulations, Paula. Shannon's still waving. 10 bookings. 11 bookings, 12 bookings, 13, 14, 15. Oh my gosh. Well, Shannon, we want to hear from you. And then Paula, you're our runner up. So then we want to hear from you, of course. So Shannon, I know everybody wants to know how you got that many bookings. <laughs> yes. um, I just consistently do the bubble sheet every day. And if I get one no, I'll make sure I get two yeses. So, oh. And I uh, reach out to people on Messenger and Instagram, and I do warm chat. So, for every, I, would, I want you guys to write that down. For every one no, you get two yeses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Shannon, Drop the mic. Incredible. That is DIQ action right there, Shannon. You are going to be there in no time. That is so incredible. I'm so excited for you. That's like you, I'm following using in your first. my ears. <laughs> I'm following in your footsteps, Amelia. You're young enough to be my daughter, but you're an inspiration. You and Megan. Oh, so. mm -hmm. Aww, Shannon, I love that. I'm so excited for you. And tonight is perfect for that to follow up with what we're going to be learning. So congrats, Shannon. Thank you. I, just, I love that. Shannon, it really is the IQ activity. And I just can't wait to watch how the Lord continues to abundantly bless. I mean, you guys, it's only the 11th. Look what we're doing. I'm just only 11th. Mary Kay, they don't even know what's coming. April 1st, Corpus going to be calling me like, what's going on in that area over there? Y'all be doing something crazy because we are. And it's it's amazing. Um, So Paula, we want to hear from you and your top booking tip because that's so many bookings. And so we'd love to hear from you because you and Shannon both honestly have different styles. It's so cool to see how you can do it different ways and get this get similar results. I've started just going really deep into my contacts and, and I've also started going back to some of the people who at the beginning maybe said, no, not right now, or maybe hit me up in a few months. I'm, I'm going back to them. And, and now they're starting to say yes. And, oh, okay, let's, let's, let's get together. So it's, it's just being kind of persistent uh, and being more comfortable with being persistent awesome. for sure. And it's, it's so true as, as you go, the, comfortability of being persistent it, it gets easier it's like to be like nope this is just what we do so congratulations ladies and I know we did a lot of shares as a team because of all of our new and so I do want did want to let you guys know um the $500 cash giveaway winner from last month was drawn today so I'll post the video um it's actually really really cool um a woman from our team's entries one and it was so cool I called her today and she was like oh my gosh she's freaking out and then Pam Shaw Venmoed her $500 like it's a good day when Pam Shaw look her up if you're like who's Pam Shaw she's like a celebrity Mary Kay um yeah. she happens to mentor our team anyways 
us. Okay. Which means we're working. Okay. So we're going to recognize sharing. And if you're new, you're like, what the heck is a share? It basically means you either shared our marketing video or you went through our six reasons why women join Mary Kay sheet with someone. Um, and so if you shared with anybody this last week, just go ahead and give us your best seminar superstar wave. Yes, Lisa, we know you did. And Fran and Linda. Yes. Okay. And Shannon. Okay. If you share with, we're going to rev it up to five. Five is where magic happens. One and five recruit. Anyone do five? I see Lisa. I see Shannon. I see Paula. Okay. I see Fran. Okay. We're going to rev it up to six. Just keep on waving. We're going to count this baby up. Seven. Yes, Lisa, Shannon, Paula. So no wonder you guys have new team members this week. Eight, keep on waving. Nine, so exciting. Congratulations, Lisa. Congratulations, Shannon. And are we done with our waves? Are we still waving? I think we, I think Lisa, Shannon, and Paula, I think we might have a three-way tie. So I'm going to spotlight each of you and just share with us your, um, just your fast tip for sharing because you each grew your teams this week. So just any, any like one sentence, two sentence tip that you have. I think for me, it's just that I love being on this team and I'm enjoying it. And so that kind of permeates everything and it just shows. And so it's easy to share and, and want to share. And so that's, that's been the key for me. I think for me, I mean, I'm new, but um, I mean, this stuff is just amazing. The skincare alone it, it just feels amazing and it just sells itself really. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a no brainer. My skin feels amazing. And, and I just, I tell people about it. I mean, I am up close and personal on everybody's face when I'm cleaning their teeth. And I love bringing up the conversation of, you know, Oh, you have great skin. What's your routine? What do you do? And, you know, it's a good conversation starter. I think for me, I'm just share, I share my story from the heart and I share why I love the flexibility. I love being my own boss and the freedom and just meeting the women. We're in our pink bubble. I love that. <laughs> so. Well, that is just amazing. You guys, congratulations. I love that each of your tips are so unique and so different. Mm -hmm. And so before we dive into our, our training, um, Amelia is going to introduce the woman that's um, sharing our announcements tonight. And we're so excited. Our star quarter is ending on Friday. So Amelia, I'm going to pass the mic over to you. Okay. Perfect. Well, I'm so excited to have Miss Lovely Alex doing our announcements tonight. And um, Alex Taylor introduced her earlier. She's on her team and her launch party is next Sunday. And Alex, I think you had nine guests confirmed, right? Nine yeah. women confirmed yeah. to come. It's going to be huge. I'm so excited for her. And she's just been dominating everything so far. Voxer challenges. She's like, yeah, guys, I'm on this. <laughs> and so it's like, what better person than Alex? And so Alex, take it away, girl. Do our announcements. All right. So we're going to talk about the events and prizes. So um, you can earn your spot on the seminar stage by achieving new sales director, new car, car driver, court of sales, and court of sharing achievement. Now is the time to build up to red um, with three active team members. You'll be well on your way into moving up and having fun. Um, our next event where your progress towards your goals is career conference happening in Charlotte, North Carolina, um, uh, and New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Um, I think what Atlantic city, right? Atlantic yeah. city, New Jersey, um, on March 22nd to the 23rd, uh, you'll be celebrated for your SOAR achievement, star consultant achievement and career path movement. Uh, this event is our fave of the entire year as you're celebrated in a high energy environment you'll be inspired trained and recognized as you continue to make this your best year ever um our company event to also mark on your calendar or your planner um is seminar 2024 the diamond seminar dates are monday july 29th to thursday august 1st um, when you tuck away about 200 bucks per month for this event from now till June, uh, you should have well over a grand saved to have your most eventful and fun seminar celebration. Um, and also congratulations to our star beauty consultants from last quarter. 
Um, when you achieve 1800 wholesale this quarter, there are so many exciting prizes and recognition in store for you. Uh, from Starbucks gift cards to a new Kate Spade purse, uh, Mary Kay is ready to spoil you. Uh, imagine the possibilities of what your family will do with your extra 1800 profit this quarter. The quarter ends on March 15th. Uh, here are all of the exciting perks. Stars get to pick out a prize each quarter. When you're a star each quarter for the year, you get extra prizes and you get to attend a prize party at seminar. Stars qualify for the company to send you new customers and new member referrals to your website. Stars are eligible to order new products early and stars get tons of recognition at unit events. <laughs> oh my goodness, Alex, that was so perfect. Thank you so much for leading those. And um, you guys, if you're wondering how close you are to STAR um, for the Ambition Unit, my assistant did post it today of how close you are and those who are current STARs and Amelia will post as well. So if you're unsure of how close you are, just reach out to one of us. We'd be happy to, um, to share that with you. So we're going to go ahead and I'm so excited to introduce our speaker tonight, you guys. And I just want for you just to like, just really take a moment tonight and just really allow yourself to see Amelia's story in you. She's going to be sharing her I story and there's going to be something that she's going to share that is going to be relevant to you, relevant to your life, relevant to where you are right now. And I just want to start by sharing that Amelia started Mary Kay the same way that we all do. She really started it scared and she's going to tell you guys about her story. So I'm so excited to tell you guys a little bit about Amelia Fox's accolades. So Amelia started her business officially in July of 2023 last summer as a brand new 18-year-old beauty consultant. And she went on target for her Mary Kay car 15 days later on August 1st. And she finished earning the use of her Chevy Trax Four months later, on October 31st, 2023, she finished her car. You guys, exactly four months from signing her agreement. Like, if you're brand new, isn't that so exciting of what you can do? And she has grown her personal team size this year to be at 45 beauty consultants. And she already has 18 personal qualified team members year to date towards the court of sharing. Towards the court of sales, she's just about done. She sold over 39 thousand three hundred dollars in the last eight months and she is on target to complete her first of six thousand dollar brand new sales director bonuses because as a brand new sales director you get six thousand dollars just in bonuses not even including your commission and amelia's success truly comes from her love for jesus her consistent work ethic to see at least 30 for personal faces per month and her unwavering joy to trust the process and her abundant extraordinary effort that she matches with unwavering faith and amelia is the soon to be top pink Cadillac sales director on her way to senior sales director and national this year. So Amelia, we're so excited to hear from you tonight. I can literally go on and on and on for 10 minutes about your accolades, but I don't want to take your speaking time. Um, but Amelia, I am so proud of you from the bottom of my heart for finishing this goal. I'm so proud of you for leading from the front, for doing whatever it takes, for always seeing the faces, for always being positive, for always showing up, for always thinking abundant. You are truly, truly someone that Mary Kay Ash would be so proud to have as a brand new sales director in her company. So we are so excited to hear from you tonight and our pens and our paper is ready. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness. Well, you're going to make me teary-eyed, Megan. And I'm going to try not to get emotional tonight because just sharing my eye story is just obviously, it's so close to my heart just to like, when I was planning this out, I was actually talking with my mom last night because she's been with me from the beginning since I started as a wee babe. Um, and I'm so grateful for her, but we were just thinking back to when I started this and when I was new and all of the things, I was like, oh yeah, I forgot that happened. Oh yeah, I forgot I had that panic attack. You guys, it gets easier. I forgot. I like everything's behind me now. <laughs> um, but it's so funny. So I'm so excited just to share with you guys tonight, honestly, from my heart. 
And um, yeah, I just wanted to really share and inspire you guys tonight with how I went from being a new beauty consultant to now a sales director. Like, it's kind of crazy, right? The career path in Mary Kay, and maybe you're new and you're like, what even is the career path? I don't know. I literally just signed up. Um, that's totally okay because I'm just going to talk a little bit about it tonight. And for all that those who have been here for a while or maybe just a few weeks, I'm just excited to just kind of be real with you guys tonight. And I just wanted to share, um, I just want you guys to take away from this that I'm a real person and that I have real stories. And you might see people like Megan or I or people moving up and I don't know if you're thinking oh like I could never do that I have no idea how she's a sales director like she must be some superhuman blessed by God it's none of that <laughs> it's just it's just a few things that uh make you um that make you get to being a sales director so I'm excited to just share like how my mind shift how I decided or learned that I did want to be here today and just inspire you guys so I'm so excited okay so just to like put you guys in my shoes a little bit in like in my head um when i first came into mary Kay, i'll just share like super briefly just like realistically so when i first tried mary Kay, i was in high school and i think i've shared with most of you but i don't know a lot of you so you probably don't know this but i had super bad acne and nothing was working for my skin and my sister remembered she had tried this stuff called mary Kay once in high school and i was like i've heard of that but i have no idea what the heck that is i was like what and i was like let me give it a try so it literally we ordered it from like like don't tell anyone this but we got it from amazon You're, that's like no no but we literally didn't know anything about mary Kay. we literally didn't know anything so it was so expensive and i didn't even know how to use it i think i put the cleanser like on my face as like acne treatment gel like i'm not even kidding i was using it wrong <laughs> and so then um I actually, so long story short, I did a Zoom facial with Megan. I ended up, my mom ended up meeting her and um, she told me about Mary Kay. And that was the first experience I had ever had with it. And I was like, you know, like, I, I think I want to give this a shot. And at this stage in my life, I had no experience. Like, you might think, oh, like, maybe she had skincare, makeup experience. If you have worked a job in your life, you had more experience than I did. This was my first job ever. So if you're like, I'm not qualified, don't worry. You don't have to be. <laughs> you don't have to be. Um, and I hadn't even met Megan or a single Mary Kay person physically when I signed up. Like, because Megan lives in Florida, I live in Connecticut, hadn't even met anyone. And so, like, talk about going into this with faith, right? And I just want to inspire you. It was, um, it was in November a couple years ago or whenever um, when I when I was doing this with my mom briefly. Um, it was my first mingle and I remember I hopped on and I it was my first experience. I was so scared and they had asked me to share like why I was most excited about why I started and I was literally shaking. I was like, who are these women? What am I going to say? I was like, I'm so young. Like, I'm, they're all going to be like, who the heck is this little child? And so I, I just shared and I just remember like being so inspired. And I remember at that first mingle, um, I think Audrey, Megan's mom was speaking and they were just talking talking about like the basics of Mary Kay and they were going through like um the career path like um just like what to do at a facial just like the basics and it was so inspiring and I remember like they prayed and I was like wow these women are like who I want to be. I was like, I'm scared to death and I have no idea how this is going to work, but I'm just going to trust the process. And yeah, so that was my first mingle, literally scared to death. So if you're new tonight and you were like a little nervous, like what the heck am I doing hopping on this Zoom? Don't worry, you're not alone. Um, and these women are now my family. And so it's so beautiful to see how that grows. Um, but I remember when I started, I, I just went through the first steps with Megan and of course, um, 
the first step we did our first steps talk you guys and then we planned my launch party and i just remember megan always giving me like my next step like okay your next step is this make your list and i was like okay let me make my list and then she's like okay our next step is your launch party okay let's do our launch party and then from there it was the 30 faces and then from there it was okay get into red jacket and what i loved um about starting and i think helped me on my whole journey was just being so clear about like what like your next step in your business is and so i think that's a beautiful thing just to like always come back to the basics of like okay what is like what did mary Kay ash like build this company to be and like take it from there and then the crazy life lessons you learn along the way oh boy those are the best part of it all um so I remember um, after my launch party, it was to book my first 30 faces. We all know the 30 faces in 30 days. That's what we call a power start over here. So if you're like, oh, power start, what's that? That's 30 faces in 30 days. And um, I had this challenge. And I remember Megan just asking me like, okay, who in your life do you know? Who is Susie Q? Who is this? Who is this? And I was like, oh, I could ask like these three ladies from my church, my neighbor, my mom's grandma. I think what I did from the beginning that was good is just not being afraid to reach out to everyone and not prejudging them. And I think because I was so young, it also helped me be like, oh yeah, like childlike faith. Like I'm just going to ask her because that's just what we do. But isn't that like so, so freeing to know like, okay, just ask her. Um, That's just what we do. Right. Um, And so this is just the beautiful process of how simple like the Mary Kay business is, I think um, is why I love it. So all I, I love it so much. I can't speak. It's okay. <laughs> um, I'll give you hope guys. But I learned that there's only really two things needed to be successful in Mary Kay, you guys, like two things. It's just um, to be willing to learn and to be teachable. Those two things. So if you're taking notes, write that down. Be willing to learn and be willing to be teachable. And that's all that you need to be successful in anything but in Mary Kay. And so just going into it with that mindset, you guys, um, um, my next step after my mingle. And first of all, I'll share my next step was, of course, to book my first 30 faces. So let me just bring you in on a little story of like my first facial that I ever did just to like paint this picture like this is real life. This is how it went down. And it's not like the picture perfect story. So I had done my reach outs booking for my 30 faces and it was literally like one of my best friends like old italian like step grandma like it was it was someone like that and she came over and i had it all set on my little kitchen counter my little her little mirror her little skincare set and i had watched the little videos on the great start app of what the heck to say i was writing down notes before i had practiced it i was like okay i'm ready for her and she came in and she was like yeah i'm not gonna try anything on my face like yeah like i don't want to take off my makeup and so i was like okay this wasn't on my list i don't know what to do i was like i didn't practice this part and i was just like um megan what do i do <laughs> um yes megan says i remember this and i still rocked it yeah i was thinking back and um yeah, she literally didn't even try a single product on her face. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to walk this through and I'm going to practice just like you are trying this on your face. Anyways, it was very funny. And so just know that that was my first facial experience. She did get a miracle set for me because I think she loved me and she like thought it was cute. I don't know, but that's how that my first facial experience went. And um, I was looking through, these are actually my notebooks in my planner from when I signed up and when I started you guys. And it was so special just to look through the notes, like preparing for tonight and like see how far I've come. It's so crazy. Um, so that was my first facial, just like a little real life story. And so after that, um, I knew that I wanted and needed to get into red jacket, right? 
And so I was like, okay, red jacket, sure, I want that. It's really cute. I was like, I guess this is just what we do in Mary Kay. Um, and um, to inspire you guys, I think just like knowing the clear steps. And I think that tonight, like just like breaking down like the steps of what is the career path. And so just like starting out and then getting into your red jacket, if you don't know, is your first three team members. And when you're a red jacket, it's really special because at company events, you're just, you stick out like a sore thumb in the best way possible. That's how Mary Kay wanted it to be. Um, so you get to wear a cute red jacket. And so to my point, career conference was coming up and it's perfect timing because career conference is about to come up and this was my first ever Mary Kay event and my mom came with me because I was so young I was like I can't go alone mom come with me and so she came and um I was literally so scared to death you guys because in Connecticut um before we had the champion unit I was like a lone wolf over here Megan was in Florida and I didn't know any Mary Kay girls and so I came to this event unexpecting like not knowing what was going on I was like these women are all so fancy dressed I was like I am like really sticking out like a sore thumb and I was so nervous you guys but what I learned at that event was that Mary Kay is so big in the best way possible. I didn't realize how legit it was. And I just took away from it when I saw all like the leaders and like hearing these women's stories of how this business came into their life and it changed it around, changed their financial situations around, changed their confidence, their worth. Um, some some women just like spiritually, mentally, physically, whatever it was, I was like, whoa. I was like, this is like way bigger, better than I even thought it was. I was like, I thought this was just like my little skincare thing that I was struggling with. I was like, no, this is cool. I was like, this is what I'm a part of. And career conference really sparked that inside of me to realize that, oh, I'm a part of something bigger. I am a part of something that changes women's lives and it can do that. And so um, even though I was like scared to death, I was so glad that I went to career conference and being a red jacket, you do get like a lot of perks. So <laughs> sidebar, it's really great to go as a red. Um, and so after career conference, I knew that I was like, okay, like, what's my next step? I was like, I'm so inspired. You get so trained there. And um, yeah, so that was career conference, you guys. And I didn't know, like, I wanted to be a sales director at this point. Like, you're like, okay, Amelia, when were you like, oh, yeah, I want to be a sales director. That's my goal. It wasn't even at this point yet. I didn't even know. Um, I just knew that I wanted to get to the next step, you guys. And so um, at this point, I had been doing it for a little bit. And maybe some of you on here tonight are getting in that point of your business you're like all right amelia or all right guys i've been doing this for a little bit i've been seeing my faces like i just i'm getting so frustrated or so upset and just to be real and like honest with you guys um i was the person i was the girl all growing up where my family i was like stereotyped as the sensitive girl who literally had panic attacks all the time and my family would literally laugh at me because like literally whenever we were in a grocery store or something and we were like looking for like i don't know a product and couldn't find it and they're like okay go ask that person where it is i'd be like no like i can't i'm too scared and then be like oh, okay i'll do it like i was that girl <laughs> And they were always like, oh, Amelia is so shy. Like, she won't talk to anyone. Ariel, I see you said same. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> that was me. And um, so I was just stuck in this emotional cycle of just letting my emotions, like, control me all the time. And I would be done with my facials. And I was getting to a point where I had, like, gone through everyone I knew. And so now I was starting to do, like, people I didn't know. And so it's all a numbers game. And so some of the numbers, like, it's just a numbers game. Like, a third of a third will hold their appointment. Like, it's just how it is. And so... 
I was getting into this rut, like after I had a no show or like something went wrong, I'd be like crying, like literally crying. Like, <laughs> I'd be like, this is so hard. Like, mom, I don't know what to do. And um, I would be so emotional about it. And I just had to learn to like take my emotions out of it and just learn like this is a business. And like, if I treat it like a business, like it will not only pay me like a business, but I'll be able to get so much further and I'll be able to just, I don't know, just get further in life in general for not letting my stinking emotions take the best of me and be at the rain all the time. Um, and just, I had to learn to focus on the girl that was across from me instead of on me. That was a big thing for me. Like, I feel like in my facials, um, just like to be real with you guys, honestly, I was so focused on like, oh, like, uh, am I saying the right thing? Like, is she staring at me? Like, I don't know. Like, am I making her feel nervous? I don't want to share. She's going to think I'm weird. Like, I don't know if this goes through people's minds. Like, it's just true because everything is new to you. So it feels uncomfortable. Anyway, so I feel like <sighs> learning for me, take the shift off of me focus on, okay, who's this lovely lady in front of me? She's here for a reason. And like these women that God is bringing you in front of you guys, I really truly believe like each and every single one of them is sitting at your kitchen table or like at her kitchen table if you're on Zoom for a bigger purpose. And so just learning to take the emotions out of it. And um, that was a big thing for me. And so that was a big, big part of like getting past it was the emotional barrier and also finding what next, what it excited me. And so what excited me was getting my car. And so whatever Mary Kay thing that might be for you or thing that might be for your family, I encourage you guys. I'm looking at my time. I was like, I gotta, I gotta keep going. Um, but like, just think like what excites me? Like, what is the one goal or dream in my heart that would like, just get me so excited to have accomplished. And like, I love in Mary Kay that we dream and we are big on dreaming because I feel like a big reason women we just like hold ourselves back because we are always like giving or we just think so little of ourselves all the time and just like i feel like we're always like oh yeah yes queen like you can do anything like hyping everyone else up but then when it comes to ourselves we're like no i'm the ugliest person ever like stop don't look at me like i can't do anything like i feel like that's how us girls are and so i love with Mary Kay, it's like, stop it. Like, don't think like that. Those are lies. You can do this and what you believe you can achieve. And so, um, just thinking of a dream that excites you. So for me, it was my car. And I was like, I know this would be crazy to earn my car at 18. And I know it would be crazy. Um, but then I realized along the way that being a director and becoming a director, it was just like, it was the next step. And the commission that comes with being a director, I thought if I'm going to be doing Mary Kay anyways, and I'm going to be seeing faces, I might as well, instead of making like nine or 13%, be making 36% because this payment guys being a sales director I know for Megan this is what like feeds her baby this is what puts her husband through school and like those big dreams that like God has laid on your heart that like choices you want to give your family that's what being a sales director does for you and more than that it gives you the opportunity to give that to so many women and just be so free to like be your own boss and like get to that stage where you're like oh, this is so exciting and you can help other women do that too so um that's just like what i was like getting your car it just kind of goes hand in hand with being a director and um the car really excited me and then along the way um i really just got inspired to become a sales director and um i i was just thinking like that girl back then like just thinking back the girl that thought like she couldn't do it and you might think oh like i don't know that's crazy <laughs> that's a little much like i don't know if i could do that like if you think you can't do it it's okay because yeah you can't do it i'm just gonna tell you right now you can't but you know who can 
God can, and God can do anything. And he can, he's a miracle worker. And um, I knew that I was like, I can't do this by my own strength, but my whole thing for my journey, you guys, and the whole point of being a sales director was kind of proving to myself and proving to other women that with faith in God over fear in yourself, like anything is possible. And like Megan said, like, I was so scared. Like I was literally scared of everyone, couldn't talk to anyone. And me becoming a sales director, I was just like, I want this to literally be a testimony to women and to other women that if you just like, consistency you're willing to learn you're willing to put in the effort that you can do anything and that anything is possible with god and putting faith in him because he is a miracle worker and he literally he changed my life from that scared girl i was telling you before um and so those that was everything and so um let's see yeah you might be saying like i can't do this i can't do this i can't do this um and i just want to sh- encourage you like i was like okay but being a sales director i have to like teach people these things and like i don't know how to say what megan says like that's what that means and um i encourage you like we know what to do i think we just hold ourselves back to being like it might be new and it might be scary but like you have the tools inside of you and the gifts that god's given you to be a leader you guys and um just realized that you may be the one just like holding yourself back um and just holding yourself back from what you were created to be and guys god literally he calls us to be set apart to be different to be great and so i feel like that all comes with being a leader and like just breaking that barrier belief with yourself in realizing that like oh, you know, it isn't your lack of skill that's holding me back. It isn't my lack of talent. It isn't my lack of like, um, isn't my lack of looks or my nervousness. It's just straight up me that's holding me back. And so just realizing that and just putting your your faith that like, okay, God, I'm going to give this to you. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to do the steps. Um, and so being a director might seem intimidating to you guys it might seem like a like a big scary thing um but it really isn't and pam shaw she taught us that everything is in a 90 day cycle and to be a sales director it's the top two percent of our company you guys so i just want to encourage y'all tonight that like that top two percent of women who are sales directors are just women who they beat the 90 day cycle in the 90 day cycle basically Basically, it means like after 90 days, like you're either going to give up or you're going to keep going with a goal. And so it's just the woman that decide I'm going to keep going and I'm not going to give up because my goal is bigger than me. It's it's like it means so much, whatever it is. And so I just want to leave this off with encouraging you guys to just think, um, let me see just like that one more mentality you guys and just if you keep doing those basic things i was telling you for long enough like literally the basics of mary Kay. those are what sales directors do like i book every day i see faces every day and sales directors are just women that do it for long enough and that don't give up to become that top two percent um and that i think that was all i wanted to share with you guys i know we're we're like running out of time um the last thing that i wanted to just share with you guys um is that um god did lay on megan's heart you know as she was thinking about our national area to have 10 new offspring sales directors by seminar 2024 you guys and i'm just so thankful like looking back on two years ago or like whenever when i started this that i didn't give up in that i made the decision and now i'm here today so just put two years on your life and say like i will be this age what will i look back on tonight on this monday mingle this monday at 8 pm and thank myself for deciding to not give up on and where do i want to be at seminar and just pray and just like this week take the time to think do i want to be one of those 10 coming to seminar as a brand new sales director because all it needs is willingness to learn and um willingness to try that's all it takes you guys so i know 
I'm going over my time and we have to get on marketing. Um, but I hope that inspired you guys tonight. And I hope that it was just real and that you could see that it's just that mind shift. And I really believe that our next 10 are on the screen because leaders, they show up and you guys all showed up tonight. And so I cannot wait to see who comes with us as a brand new sales director in seminar because Megan and I have two arms each and we need to be, they need to be full of women in pink. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, Amelia, I could just go on and on, on. I just want to show the fast highlights. And you guys, since we have marketing here at eight, I do want you guys to affirm Amelia in the chat. Amelia, being clear on your next steps not being afraid to reach out to the people that you know, learn to focus on the girl in front of you instead of on yourself. What is the next step that excites you? We're holding ourselves back because we're always, um, we're always giving what you believe you can achieve faith in God over fear of yourself. It is new, but you have the tools and you just have to get past the 90 day cycle. I am so proud of you, Amelia and everyone just affirm her in the chat. Wow. 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 So, um, yes, thank you guys for affirming her. So we are going to go ahead and transition to our eight o'clock call. I know we've got some girlies on. And so if you don't have um, somebody for eight, I'm going to just like in a loving way request that you'll slip off just for the, um, the privacy and intimacy for our beautiful, amazing guests. So bye you guys. Bye, 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 bye. Bye okay. everyone. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm so excited to go ahead <laughs> and say hello. Hi, Emma. <laughs> Hi. You look so cute. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. Well, and hey Jenna. Welcome. Hi, Jenna. Oh my hey. goodness. Well, y'all, what we'll go ahead and do, because I do want to just like honor our time and just get started on time. Okay. Is we'll just have y'all start by just introducing yourselves to each other. That way, Emma and Jenna, you guys can can meet. So if you guys just want to share like where you live, what you do share a little bit about you guys that way you're not strangers to everybody yeah. yeah um so I'm Emma I just moved from I have a puppy on my lap so we just got a puppy um <laughs> but I just moved from Virginia Lynchburg Virginia down to um Tampa Florida so it's been a big adjustment um I do have my exercise science degree so trying to find a job somewhere in that um but also kind of staying open to wherever the Lord leads me um, and what those next steps look like. Um, I did, I'm newly engaged. So oh, nice. That's Congratulations. Nice. Thank yes, you. Yes, congrats. Thank you. Thank you. So um, it's just the craziness of like having a puppy, moving to a new place, trying to plan a wedding, and then also trying to remember just like keep my eyes on like my personal goals. So <laughs> Girl, nice. you've, got, you've got so much going on. <laughs> I'm, I'm, right I'm literally so happy you're here. And Emma, I don't know. I don't know if your mom told you, but I got to meet her the other day. I'm obsessed with her. She's so sweet. She is literally, I love her. She is my role model in life. She's amazing. <laughs> She's literally so amazing. Oh my gosh. And Jenna, we've never met. So I'm excited to meet you. Yeah. Both. Me and Emma are meeting you for the first time. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you both. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about you. Cool. So I, um, I live in North Brantford, Connecticut. I just met Amelia today, actually. She was lovely. Um, <laughs> You and I do ultrasound for my job. So I, and I work full time pretty much. I have every other Monday off, but I'm just looking for something extra to do on the side that kind of like allows me like in a flexible way, I guess, but also allows me to kind of take time to myself and do something that I like to do. So I am interested in, in looking into this and joining the team. Um, my job is really demanding. So it takes up a lot of my time. And so busy life is obviously I, not as I don't know if I'm as busy as Emma right now, but definitely busy. <laughs> um, I'm also pregnant, so my life is going to change pretty, pretty rapidly as we go along here. But yeah. Oh, girl, how many weeks are you? I'm 16. How are you? So are you have you gotten your energy back yet? Yes. I feel honestly, wouldn't even know I was pregnant right now. Honestly, that's how I feel. It's I feel great. I can't even complain. Oh my gosh. And this <laughs> is your first yeah. baby? Yeah, my first baby. It's a boy. I'm girl, so being, excited. Being a boy mom is the best. They just adore their mamas. <laughs> Do you, you have kids? I have a little boy. Nice. Yeah. 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 I'm really excited. You look pregnant in your face. You look amazing. Oh, not yet, at least. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm so yeah. thrilled for you, Jenna. And I love that you do ultrasound. And I see iPhone, but I don't know who this is. I know we have a few more girls hopping on. iPhone, who are you? Can you introduce yourself? <laughs> they might be one of my guests. Okay. Can you hear us, iPhone? Yeah. Who's ever else is on the screen? The mystery. Free unmute to or make sure you are 
Who is our mystery guest? Who she be? <laughs> I have either um Jolie. Uh oh, it's Jolie! Hi, Jolie! You're muted, just so you know. If you're able to unmute, I'm so glad that you're on. She's so cute. Oh, you're still muted. Megan, is it possible for you to unmute her? Oh yeah, let me I ask her to unmute. There we go. Okay. I'm so glad you're here. This is fantastic. Zoom be zoom in. It's so hard to connect sometimes. Like when I first started doing Zoom during COVID, I was like, what? What, I was what? Like, what? what? and where? <laughs> like I don't understand. Let's where see. are the buttons? Where, where do buttons be? There should be like a little like microphone button that says like mute or unmute. And so if you just like hit that. It I'm should... hitting ask her to unmute. Okay. Yeah, there should be a button, Jolie, that says like a little microphone. I believe in you. Or you could type in the chat, I guess, but I want to hear you, of course. <laughs> Those are hard. I know. Here's what we can do. We'll start our questions, Amelia, and that way as she's connecting, do you want to text her detailed steps maybe? I just don't want to hold yeah. up um, Jenna or Emma because I know we were already a little bit late. So I don't yeah. know. I'll text you, Jolie, the steps. Okay. Okay. So, all right, y'all. Well, how this is going to work is this is actually training for our top consultants. And so this is being recorded. Don't worry. We're not going to like post it viral or anything <laughs> like that. And so what we'll just have you guys do is just ask like just three to five questions of literally anything you would want to know about a Mary Kay business. And truly like Amelia and I are like an open book. So you can ask us literally anything. The only thing we'll ask that you don't ask are just product questions because all of our our top consultants, they already have all their like trainings and all that fun stuff done on the products. And if you guys didn't know, you're actually getting over a hundred dollars in product coupons to use throughout the next year, just as a thank you for being here tonight, which is like so rad. Um, so we'll just go ahead and just dive right on in. So who has the first question? Um, I do have a question. Yeah, Jenna. So I talked a little bit to Amelia today, just asking like very generic questions, but I am curious to know how like some of you go about kind of like, I don't know, I, I don't know if advertising is the right word, but kind of how you get your word out there, because I know obviously social media is an obvious, um, yeah. but as somebody who I'm not consistently on social media, um, just for like, I don't know, mental health reasons, I try to be on there like in a healthy way. Um, what are some other ways that you guys communicate with people and even reach out to people that you don't know, I guess? Yeah, no, that's such a good question. So honestly, Mary Kay is such a relational business that social media does benefit you, but it's not like a quote, like have to thing. Like I think about yeah. the pioneers of our company, our company's 60 years old. So women literally mm -hmm. built this for 35 years without Instagram, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so what that looks like is you just really start with the near and dears in your life, your mom, your grandma, your bestie, your maid of honor, people like that. And then what will happen is at that session, they actually get to gift their friends with makeovers. It's actually how I met Emma's mom. She gets at her mom with a makeover. Oh, cool. Um, so that's people, how I met Jenna. <laughs> I mean, there you go. <laughs> exactly. So people, wait, in case the people will introduce you to people. And then Jenna, to be real, I have just found that social media is a good layering tool. Like, for example, mm -hmm. you may meet someone at your doctor's appointment. That's your next client for baby. But they and maybe your social media is just layering where they're like, oh my gosh, like Jenna's foundation looks so good. What is she using? Type of a thing. So we've almost found yeah. it can be more layering than it is like cold, cold call. Does that make sense? Yeah, like, yeah, it does make sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great Love question. That. Yeah, I guess I'll go next. Um uh, where were you both when you started and like with the sales aspect? Um, I know I recently just turned down a job because it was so salesy. Um, so does Mary Kay give you the freedom to kind of sell how you want to sell or is there a very structured sales flow, I guess? That's a good question. I'm going to let Amelia take that because Amelia had like literally like zero sales experience before this. So I feel like this, she'd be a good person to answer this question. Yeah, that's such a great question. So Mary Kay, this was like my first like job job I ever had. And so I was like the definition of no experience. And um, when I came into this, I really liked that the structure that they have, like, it's not like a 
oh like this is what we do you have to do this <laughs> um it's just like this is like our base and like it really is relational like what we teach and like train our consultants how to do which i really loved and i found that it just felt genuine and since it is your own business you can really do it however you want to do it it's really up to you but the way that we do train you how to do it i found that it really is it really is genuine and relational like megan was saying um and so basically in this you're just kind of free to do how you want to do it and then the way that we teach you it feels really nice in like comfy and genuine so it's nice yeah hopefully that answered your question <laughs> that was a good question emma yeah and jolie says she sees the little microphone button but it's not letting her unmute herself when she jolie, do you want to maybe type out does she want to type out her questions yeah, Jolie, there's like a little chat button. If you're able to like type out your questions or like you could text me your questions too and then we could answer them for you. <laughs> you could hear us. Technology. Um, I know. I'm so sorry. Or I could call her and then she could listen <laughs> in. Maybe True. I can try that. I'm yeah. going to see. It. I'm going to do it. See if you can do it. Shana, what's your next question, girl? My next question was actually kind of random, but it was about like inventory. So I was thinking like, okay, so once you're comfortable and you're doing your thing, how do you keep track of like inventory, making sure you have enough when you meet up with people in person and how does like all that work? That is an excellent question. So Mary Kay, they actually have this app called the My Customers app. So when <laughs> your orders come in, you literally scan the barcode and it uploads all your inventory in one oh. app. I know that as That's you're nice. selling in people's little, like your customers, little portals, you can mm -hmm. like, you can add in what they ordered and whether you fulfilled it from your inventory or through Mary Kay directly. So it literally calculates it for you. And so it's like literally that easy. Oh, cool. I've never been in sales before. So I'm a little clueless with that side of things. Like I definitely have faith in myself about being able to sell, but it's more so like the I guess like the technical part of it is like, oh, I don't even know. Like, how does that work? But that answers and my question. Thanks. Too, Amelia is like great at tracking that stuff. So she can teach you how to do it. And Amelia is so chill about it. She like looks at her stuff and she's like, what am I low <laughs> on? And in Jenna, it almost becomes like, like when you're like dating your man and you get to know his taste and you're like, I know what he want me to cook for dinner. Yeah. It's like that. But in your inventory, you're like, no, I know I sell this. I know like you'll find your own best right. sellers and you'll, your intuition as a woman, you'll be like, I know I need these. Like you'll, it'll kind of become second nature. I gotcha. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I hope that answers that question. Yeah. And so Jolie, just so you know, we can hear you now on my phone. So if you want to show your face and ask a question, we can all hear you. If you can hear us. Would that work for you, girl? Well, I don't know if I can show my face now because I can hear you. Oh, well, we can we can see your screen if you just tap back to like your Zoom your Zoom button on your phone. But we can hear you at least. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> you guys keep asking your questions. They're That's going right. great. I'll call her. Back. <laughs> okay. I love her. <laughs> Bless her heart. Okay, Emma, what's okay. your next question, girly? Yeah, so how many hours are you guys working a week? Good question. So most of our consultants, Emma, they honestly do this about three to 10 hours a week. For for me, it's I do it about 40 hours a week tops because it is our, you know, my full-time job and it supports our whole family. But most of our consultants do it about three to 10 hours a week. Yeah. It really so it's definitely you could like, you work up your hours. I mean, with the sales and stuff like that. It's honestly, it's up to you. Like Amelia came into this like full swinging. She started doing it full time, like pretty much immediately. And she got her free car in four months and now she's a director. So honestly, Emma, it's like truly up to you and what you want. Gotcha. Yeah. Good question. I love that. Okay. Jenna, you're up girl. <laughs> Um, are there any like requirements in terms of, in terms of the schedule, like per week, like to meet a certain quota or like, can you take a week off if you have a crazy week and then continue again the next week? Yeah, it, it's truly on your own terms. So Mary okay. Kay, our founder designed it where we don't have quotas. She never wanted us to have to be like pushy. So she yeah. just made it where it's your own schedule. And then we walk you through when you start. It's called your new consultant orientation and we help you set up your schedule where it feels good for you. Gotcha. Yeah. Good question. Okay. 
Yeah, good question. And then Jolie, we have you on the phone. So do you have any questions? We would love to answer them for you. Yeah, so uh, I work 40 hours or more a week. And if I did this, like, is there, I am not somebody who wants to go on the road and travel. Mm -hmm. So like, is it Zoom also that you can sell on? Because I don't have the time in my schedule to just go on the road and do. Mm, yes, I love your question. That's a great question. So um, to answer it, yes, you can do your business however you want to. Um, so for instance, like I do Zoom facials where you just literally mail them a little skincare packet and then you just hop on Zoom for like a quick hour in your literally in your bedroom or where in your kitchen and then it takes you that easy one hour you don't even have to leave your house or you can have people come to you so you don't have to drive um so it's really flexible where you can make it easy for you with your schedule mm -hmm. yeah does that answer your question yes thank you of course that's awesome and julie did you have any other questions because i know it took us a while to get a hold of you, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm like really thinking about it. I mean, I'm, you know, I, I, I've always loved Mary Kay. I've used the products in my past and I'm so glad I met Amelia and I'm back being able to use them again, but, mm -hmm. um, I've always loved the products and I always thought about being able to sell them and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, uh, I just want to think about it more and I'm sure I'll have more questions, mm -hmm. but, um, okay. Yeah. I'm just so happy. Um, I found somebody in the neighbor yeah. that sells it because I've been without Mary Kay for probably like a good 10 years now. You poor thing. Well, yeah, your Mary Kay drought is over. <laughs> You're in the hub now. <laughs> you can't lose us now. <laughs> Emma or Jenna, do you guys have any other specific questions? Mm -hmm. I don't think so right now. I think that you guys answered most of my questions. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And what about you? Yeah, no, I think the, I mean, all the questions I really did have were answered through other questions too. Um, oh, nice. So yeah, I got a really good like picture of the whole kind of company and business and what it looks like for you guys. I love that. Well, I'll, I, I'll close it out by just, I want to ask you guys a question. And if you, if you say yes to this and you're like, yeah, like i I'm a yes, then we'll put you in a spin the wheel. We have a like a fun little giveaway we're gonna do. Um, but I realized we didn't mention there were two things I just wanted you guys to know. Like, just as like if I was in your shoes, I would want to know this. Um, it's 50, you make 50% on everything that you sell. Um, I don't know if you guys knew that, but you make half, and then it's only 10 bucks to get started in March, and they've never done this before, but it's literally 10 bucks. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so my question for you guys, and we're actually gonna do a drawing for a free e-start, which is really exciting um so my question would just be if you guys like if you knew you could succeed and if you knew that it was 10 bucks to start could you ever see yourself doing this on the side to make some extra money definitely yeah no absolutely for sure okay I love that okay I, um and then Joey what about you I totally, uh, <laughs> I totally could see myself but I just don't know how good I could be at committing to it with my schedule and that's what scares me oh my yeah. god well, what we could do is um jolie Amelia will send you some info on our weekly plan sheet. That's what I would do, Amelia. Maybe just send her the yeah. weekly plan sheet. Then, Jolie, if you can fill it in, just like, kind of see where you have little blocks of time and just see if it's even feasible. Yeah, Jolie, I'll send you a little picture of how we plan our weeks. And then you can fill it in with your schedule, girl. And then you could be like, hey, would this work? And then we can go from there, Jolie, because I totally understand. And so we'll we'll talk about it more and I'll send you I'll send you our little schedule. How does that sound? 
That's perfect. Okay. I just don't want to promise something and I can't. Yeah, I totally get you, girl. So we'll definitely, we'll figure it out. And I'm glad that you're able to hop on to learn a little bit more. Thank you. Love it. Yeah. Okay. okay. We're ready. We're going to do our wheel. spin the wheel. Okay. So this will be for a free <laughs> e-start, a free $10 e-start. Um, we'll go, I, I put y'all's names in three times. That way it wasn't just like two blank sides. That would be there so boring. That'd be <laughs> yeah. so boring. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> Emma, no pressure. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Emma, <laughs> congrats. Congrats. <laughs> Yay. So oh my exciting. gosh. I'm so yeah. excited for you, Emma. Yeah. Well, what we can do is, um, Emma, we can stay on and then I'll, I'll get you signed up for your free e-start. <laughs> and then Jenna, Jenna, would you like to still give it a shot and just try it for 10 bucks? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. I Perfect. love that. Here's what I'll do. Do you want me just to put us in breakout rooms? That way, Emilia, you yeah. can still get Jenna's info because it's so much easier when you can see their face. Yeah, it is. That's perfect. And then Jolie, thank you so much for joining us. And I'll send you the little weekly plan sheet and your coupons. Thank you. Of course. All right. Bye. I bye. will see you on the 21st. Yes. All right. Bye, Jolie. Bye. <laughs> Bless her heart. Love her. <laughs> <laughs> She's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll go ahead and open up the little break rooms and Amelia and Jenna is just going to like put you guys in a room and Jenna, it was so nice meeting you. This yeah, is the best nice thing ever you. you could do being pregnant. Like it was the greatest thing ever. Literally. It's like the best maternity leave too. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I was like, you too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll, I'll open up these rooms. Okay. Perfect. Okay, perfect. And then Emma will just stay in here. We'll just keep awesome. it easy. <laughs> And they're going to go in there. Oh, my gosh. That elderly lady was cracking me up. I 